Hey everyone, find these and more awesome Marvel shirts at 80stees.com. Links down below. Massive spoilers going ahead. So in Avengers Endgame, we all got the conclusion to the last almost 11 years of Marvel films. In this finale with Thanos, the Avengers go back in time, retrieve the stones from different points in time, and then come back to use them in the Stark Gauntlet in order to set things back to the way they were before Thanos used the snap. The first person to use the stones in the Gauntlet was the Hulk. He even said so himself. The radiation was gamma. It's like he was born for this moment. After using the gauntlet and snapping his fingers, he sustained massive injuries to his right arm. His entire arm had atrophied severely to the point of just looking like burnt flesh and bone. The same way Thanos' arm and face were disfigured and atrophied as well, looking very small and weak. Co-director Joe Russo in an interview said this, He's lost an arm. That's not coming back. He's damaged himself. It's permanent damage. The same way there was permanent damage with Thanos. It's irreversible. As you may notice, his arm is skinnier. It's blackened. So, he loses a lot of strength there. Now, originally, I thought, well, the Hulk had fast healing abilities. So, you know, can he just heal his arm eventually? Apparently not. But Joe then went on to say this. Who knows? There's a lot of really smart people left. Maybe somebody helps him repair that. Maybe somebody gives him a new arm. Who knows? I have no idea where that character goes from here. So clearly at this point, the arm is forever deformed and weak, and that's probably one reason why he didn't fight Thanos. But it just depends on the next writer of the next movie that will handle the Hulk, whether or not they want him to have his full strength back. Now, there are many ways, one of which is to give him a vibranium arm like Bucky, and the other is that he'll find a way to accelerate his healing process to override the permanent damage that was given to him by the gauntlet, making it not so permanent. This also answers the question as to why the Hulk didn't fight Thanos at the end of Endgame, because he knew he didn't have his full capabilities and powers. Let me know what you think of the Hulk losing his arm, you know, technically, and how he should gain his full powers back going forwards in the next phase of the MCU. Also, let me know who you think the big new bad guy is gonna be, or bad girl. Personally, and I made a video on this before, I think it's going to be Galactus or maybe Doctor Doom. And now that they have the rights to Fox, which means that they're gonna be bringing in Fantastic Four and all the X-Men, we could be getting just about anybody at this point. So I'm pretty excited for what's to come. Thank you for watching this video. As always, everyone, if you enjoyed it, please hit like, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, remember, with great power comes great responsibility.